Hello guys, today we are going to talk about the basic terms and terminology that are used in skin lesion like macules, papules, pustules, plaque. So if you are new in this channel, please like and subscribe, that would be highly appreciated. So let's get started. So in this video, we'll be talking about these terms in a brief. So the first one is macules. Macule is a flat circumscribed lesion showing change in color without change in its consistency. Macules are non-palpable. So macules means the it is a change in color of the skin without change in consistency. There is only change in color and it is not elevated. It is flat and its border is well circumscribed. That means its outline is well defined. You can easily determine its outline. And also it is non-palpable as it is non-elevated. So it is non-palpable. There is only change in color. So that is macules and the size of macule is usually 0.5 centimeter to 1 centimeter. So the discoloration may be brown in color, blue, red or hypopigmentated or hyperpigmented. Let's see the examples of brown color macules. So the brown color could be freckle, fixed drug eruptions, cafe olive spot. These are the brown color macules. And blue color macules could be mongoloid spot, blue nevus, nevus is like a mole, ink tattoo. They are just a change in discoloration without elevation. And the red color macules are due to drug eruption. Also in syphilis, there is a red macules. And hypopigmented macules are Leatinia versicolor. Next one is the patch. A large macule is called patch. So patch means if the macule size is more than one centimeter, then it is called patch. And it may have scales. So on the surface, it may have scales. Example of patches are vitiligo. Vitiligo is the white stuff. As you can see in the picture, this is a vitiligo. Melasma is the brown pigmentation, uh, usually occurring on the cheeks. And pitriasis alba. These are the examples. Next one is the papules. So it is a small solid lesion, size is less than 0.5 cm in diameter and raised above the surface of the surrounding skin and hence palpable. So papules means the raised area and if you see its diameter, it is usually 0.5 cm. So diameter from here to here, it is usually less than 0.5 cm and this is raised above the skin. So it is usually uh, palpable and papules may be of various colors so this could be of various color examples are uh, yellow and white color papules could be molluscum contagiosum skin tags so these are the yellow and white pa color papules while the brown color papules are melanoma dermatofibroma so these are slightly raised above from the skin and they are palpable unlike the macule and the red, red color papules are acne, insect bite, folliculitis. While blue color macule, papules are blue nevus, lichen planus, violaceous papule. Next one is the plaque. So it is an indurated area of skin larger than 0.5 cm in diameter, which may be raised or depressed from the skin surface so plaque is an indurated area indurated area means hardened area and the uh, its diameter is usually uh, more, more than 0.5 centimeter so if we measure the diameter usually it is more than 0.5 centimeter and this um, plaque could be either raised or depressed depending upon the types of disease so this is the plaque it is an indurated area that is hardened area examples of plaques are psoriasis so there is a hardening of hardening of the lesion also in lichen planus there is a hardening of the lesion and tinea corporis so the uh, diameter is greater than 0.5 centimeter and there is a hardening of the lesion other examples of plague are pitriasis rosea severoic dermatosis tinea pedis eczema Next one is nodules. So nodules is just like papule. It is a raised lesion above the skin 
and its size is greater than 0 0.525 cm while papule size was less than 0 0.5 cm but here nodule size is larger they are between 0 0.525 cm and they are raised above the surrounding skin and it is the depth of involvement that differentiate our nodules from a large papule so you can also differentiate the nodules and papule from the depth of the uh, invo involvements so the nodules is uh, more there is more depth in the nodules while papules there is only small depth and it could be warm or soft or fluctuant uh, fluctuant means if you try to press on the one side it moves to the other side and also movable or either fixed you cannot move them and it could be also painful and the surface may be smooth with no any rough surface on it or keratotic there are wrinkles or dead cells or ulcerated means there are ulcers or fungiating means there are fungal growth examples of nodules are basal cell carcinoma hemangioma rurigo nodularis neurofibromatosis as you can see their size are greater than 0.5 cm and they are raised above the surrounding skin other examples of nodules are xanthoma keratoacanthoma melanoma now the vesicle so vesicle means a small raised lesion that is filled with fluid so uh, a small fluid filled lesion size is less than 0.5 cm raised above the plane of the surrounding skin fluid is often visible and lesion are transulent so vesicle means the raised uh, small lesion and then size is usually zero point less than 0.5 cm and this raised lesion is filled with fluid so this fluid is mostly transparent or transulent in uh, uh, appearance and uh, if you see the size they are their size is small that is 0.5 centimeter in diameter and they are usually raised above the surrounding skin so here are the examples of a cycle in chicken pox and herpes twister virus they are raised above the surrounding skin and they have transulent fluid in it these are called vesicles other examples of vesicles are impetigo insect bite herpes simplex dermatitis herpetiformis and bulla means the large vesicle so if the bulla is just like a large vesicle it is a fluid field raised often transulent lesion greater than 0.5 centimeter in diameter so if the lesion if the vesicle is greater than 0.5 centimeter in diameter it is called usually called bulla and it is filled with transulent fluid and it is usually raised above the surrounding skin example of bulla are bullous pemphigoid uh, fixed drug reaction postules postule means a raised uh, area a lesion that is filled with pus so a vesicle filled with pus it is a vesicle that but it is filled with pus unlike in vesicle there was a clear fluid and it is formed due to collection of inflammatory exudate rich in leukocytes so uh, this uh, vesicle there is a collection of exudates uh, so it from the pus it may also contain bacteria or maybe sterile so either bacteria or no bacteria at all examples are acne so in acne you can see it is filled with the pus also in postular psoriasis folliculitis scabies they are raised area and they are filled with pus so these are called postules abscess means it is a localized collection of pus deeper in dermis and subcutaneous tissue so in abscess there is a collection of pus but deeper into this uh, dermis and subcutaneous tissue in um, postule there was only pus in the epidermis area but here in there is pus collection also in dermis and subcutaneous tissue so due to deep seated location pus may not be visible on the skin surface but would show sign of inflammation so in postule in abscess there may be uh, this pus may not be seen because they are located deep in the skin so but there are always signs of inflammation like redness pain war like a warm around the posture i mean abscess wheel so wheel means it is a transient swelling of the skin disappearing within 24 hours so this is just the swelling of the skin that disappear within 24 hours 
uh, and it is formed due to sudden excavation of fluid in the dermis. So when there is a sudden removal of fluid in the dermis, it there there is a will. Example utricaria. So these are the example of will utricaria dermographism.